Good afternoon, everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Out here brought the Bigfoot out onto the beach. We've got the Pacific Ocean behind me. You can drive on the beach here in ocean shores. The ocean, guys. Not greeted by the usual overcast, cloudy look. We're actually getting some, some sunshine here, which is very rare here when I visit. But uh, Diana has never been out to this area, so she's actually way out there vlogging. Don't even see that white speck out there. She's over there vlogging. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be bringing Opie and Tara out later on their leash. I needed, I needed a beach day, guys. We're gonna hang out here all day. And then uh, we'll be moving on from the ocean, doing some other stuff. We've got some other things brewing in the background on the channel. Just, I'm trying to zip my lip and, and wait to tell you the news, but stay tuned. Before long, we'll be, we'll be talking about some crazy stuff going on in life but right now. It's kind of sunny. It is literally kind of sunny at the ocean. That's strange. That's different. Yeah. You can see even just two wheel drive cars are able to drive on this really hard pack sand here. Uh, the tide was out at its farthest point an hour ago and now it's gonna start trickling in till 6 p.m. we'll have a high tide and the ocean waters and waves will actually move all the way up to Right in, well, no, it'll cover that car. So where, where that green Jeep is driving right there, he will be in the water later at 6 p.m. on that particular road right there. So the beach always relaxes me. And uh, I'm glad we came up here because we've got some exceptional weather here late, late September here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm still in shorts and a t-shirt, guys. Oh, there's some horses out here at the beach. That's awesome. Having a good horse day. Horsing around. Yep. Oh yeah, this is living. I love sitting on the roof of the RV, especially out the ocean with this view. So gorgeous. Diana is below me in the chair. Say hi, Diana. <laughs> yep, the ocean. When we get the RV parked for the night, guys, and uh, get back to where the truck's at, got some, some big news I'm finally gonna be sharing with you. Diana and I will have to carefully coordinate so that we both share the same news on each other's channel at the same time, so they're released the same time. But um, we have some big news. Our traveling nomad family is growing. Stick around to the end of the video, guys. <laughs> right now, it's a rainier on the roof. <laughs> All right, so we are here back at where our RV's at here at our camp. Opie's out here with me in his little buggy carrier chilling like a villain and purring here yeah we're actually gonna pack up some sandwiches and go to the beach today and probably explore a little bit more of ocean shores together but uh, as i mentioned at the beginning of this video diana and i traveling together we have some very big news to share with you and we're gonna do that first our family together is growing and we are all so excited about the future let me go get opie put back inside he's such a trooper <laughs> He puts up with everything. Uh, but yeah, let's go uh, put Opie away and then we'll have a little chat, guys. First of all, first of all, this is not like a spur of the moment thing. Diana and I have been talking about bringing some more babies into our life, traveling. And uh, it just so happens that my friend Andrew, they had a litter of seven kittens and these two baby boys were the last of the litter. They are litter mates. They are best friends. They dance together. They cuddle together. They snuggle together. 
Oh my gosh, they fight like crazy together. They did have some fleas, so when we first got them, we've actually had them a week here, and we've been keeping this a secret on YouTube. So uh, we had to wash the fleas off of them in the sink, and we put some kitten flea collars on them for now. They have appointments to get checked out. They've been getting used to RV life and the kitties. They Right now, they get along with Opie, but the girls, Tara and Yang, not so much. We, there's still some work ahead of us. They are an absolute handful and they're keeping us busy. They are keeping us awake at night and we have food bowls for them and everything. And uh, we just have so much love to give and it was time to move on so that we could bring some more kitties in. Uh, so the RV is definitely growing and getting bigger and you guys know about kittens. They are a freaking handful. A lot of work. They are very high energy kittens. And it's been years since I have raised a kitten. Uh, it's been the same amount of time, Diana, three years since she's raised a kitten. And we want them to be good traveling kitties, possibly going outdoors sometimes, like Opie likes to do. Tara, not so much, but these two babies are gonna get used to all the sounds and traveling. That's a car going by, you're okay. You guys are just fine. You're not gonna be scaredy cats, okay? Um, and so, um, anyways, just wanted to share that with you and tell you that behind the scenes we've been potty training them. They did not come litter box trained, but they're doing so much better. We have a spare litter box set up just for the babies. And um, Opie is teaching them how to cover the, the litter after they're done. And overall, they're just, they're adorable. Like I said, they are, they are litter mates, so they are like basically tied together. They they love each other. They are their own best friends. It takes some of the pressure off of us because they're so attached to each other, basically. And we're okay with that, but yet they still snuggle, they still sleep, and Opie seems to love both of them. I think Tara and Yang will come around eventually. This is Gizmo. He has a little eye gooby. I think he got hurt as a litter mate, and so his eye's a little goopy. It needs to heal, and then we'll kind of see how that goes. And this, I named him Gizmo from Gremlins. And this is Chunks, Chunk from uh, Goonies. Diana picked that name. They're both boys, and they, they see a dog over there, so they're both going to look at the doggy. It's a, it's a Yorkie, I think. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a puppy. It, you can take him. You, you can totally handle that puppy. Okay? Puppies are fine. We're not going to be scaredy cats. <laughs> So anyways, that's our news. Uh, if you guys don't join me on Instagram, you have missed the previews because we, we let loose a little early both on Patreon and a couple days early on Instagram also introducing the kitties. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put them back inside and we're going to go walk back to the beach. All right, and we're off to the beach. I'm going to leave the kitties behind, get a little kitten break because they drive us crazy. <laughs> well, the, the whole world knows now. They know on your channel. They know on my channel. Yep. Five freaking cats. Parents of new adopted babies. Goodness, we're gonna need a bigger RV. <gasps> <laughs> so this is our little trail, a little five minute walking trail to the beach behind our campground. But I also wanted to point out, they have tent sites here that are stinking beautiful. This is kind of a hike in one. You park on the other side and then you're buried in these huge trees. We've got full sunshine and it's almost dark in here with you got your own little trails through here. And it's like walking through a dark forest. <laughs> so this little tent camping site, like if you put your tent right here on the ground, what a, what a magical place to camp here in the woods of Washington. There are some really pretty camping areas. We're just using it because it's a safe spot to plug in for a couple days. And then we're going right back to boondocking probably for the rest of our time here unless we get a spot in Seattle to go hang out. Still waiting, but yeah, we're gonna walk down this trail and head to our private little access to the beach, the Pacific Ocean, where uh, not, a, not a whole lot of people come out here. It's not like the first place where I started the video at, Chance Alamur out there. This one will be a little less busy. And as we come out of the dense trees, it kind of opens up here. And just like I suspected, the clouds did burn off. And we are going to get a sunny day in ocean shores in September. Now, that's not a miracle. I don't know what is. Blessed. We are blessed today. Yeah. See? There we go. 
Now you can drive and park your vehicle on this part of the beach. We are just, I don't know, maybe six miles away from the Chancel Amur entrance. But as you'll see, there are no vehicles. A couple people over there with some dogs. But otherwise, you get the whole beach here at the Pacific Ocean all to yourself. So we'll go find a place to sit down over here. We could have just left the RV on the beach for the day, but the trick out here is you can't sleep on the beach. So you can stay out here, party, listen to music. If there's not a burn ban, you can even have a fire out here. This is where we do the 4th of July fireworks that are incredible out here. But you can't fall asleep. And last I remember, they would knock on people's doors and make sure you're still awake. So, but we got good accommodations over there for the kitties though. Oh yeah, that little log right there. That looks like a perfect little picnic seat with Ocean front views. My goodness. This is my kind of picnic. She brought me beers. You want some beers, sir? <laughs> yes, I love a Keystone light. <laughs> how my uncle used to say. It checks out, huh? It's okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. Also, um, Buddy Sean up in Illinois told me about something I didn't know. You guys know I love Dots pretzels. There's a new flavor, guys. Look at Walmart for the green bag of Dots pretzels. Garlic and Parmesan. You will literally throw the bag. It, it, you'll just throw the whole bag and dump it on the beach, on the ground, on the beach. They're good. The, the, the red original ones kind of give me heartburn, but these ones... Oh. No, because then the seagulls will come. Yeah, I spent many days of my childhood out here. Before I hit the road, and before I even started a YouTube channel, I'd sit out here in whatever vehicle I had, and I would just listen to the waves crashing, listen to the sound of the seagulls, and just that constant roar of waves just, it puts me in a totally different mood. No matter, no matter what kind of grumpy mood I'm in, you come out to the ocean, even if it's gray and, and dreary and cloudy, it always makes me smile and feel a little refreshed. So I feel like I needed this this year, and I'm glad I got to share it with Diana because she's, I mean, you've seen California beaches, they're similar. Mm -hmm. But Washington just has this crispiness in the air. It's just, my, my nose is constantly running. It's so humid and crispy. And uh, I think it's what, a high of 66 today? Yeah. But you know, great. You're, in a, you're in a bikini and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it. All right, we're gonna go walk to the water, leave our picnic step over there. I'm not going in. I don't know if she plans on going in the water, maybe her toes or something, but we'll go to the water and check it out at least. The ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It's been a darn year and we're not done. Even if we do leave Washington State, we have plans to see the Pacific Ocean from possibly other states this year. Yeah, yeah. Now, by the way, I am still looking for my first ever whole sand dollar and that is a partial. They're really hard to find. I'll bet you I'll actually find a sand dollar out here, but I've never in my life found a whole one unbroken. Unbroken. Lots of little pieces. What's this? That looks like a razor clam. Yeah, that's a razor clam. So the tide is still going out. That's why all of this is still wet. Uh, there is something big over here. Let me see what this is. Oh, it's a big seashell, a very big seashell. Diana said she's gonna find me one. Yeah, you're, gonna find you're, gonna, one. you're gonna be my lucky I touch. I promise I'll find my, you. My lucky touch to find me one. Let's go out, oh, let's see all the little holes in the sand here? Those are clams. Uh, if, you, if you walk near them, sometimes they'll spit. They'll, they'll spit at you. I think we're getting close to razor clam season here in Ocean Shores. You do have to have a permit to dig for them, but yeah, there's that beautiful, dirty Pacific Ocean. Dirty, but beautiful, I think, with foam. Oh, better back up. I'm wearing my shoes. She's barefoot. <laughs> Oh 
I'm filming. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna explore a little bit of Ocean Shores. It has actually started raining on us here, which is makes me feel right at home. But we're gonna check out a few shops and grab some dinner tonight. I am just gonna point out that in the back of the truck, at least for right now, you're gonna notice, well, I've just spent $400 on some live edge oak. Uh, these two pieces and then these two pieces. Just want you to see some of this beautiful local oak wood here. And uh, this has a flat edge. It's hard to explain. It's for a future project that I can't tell you about right now, but believe me, in a few months, it's all going to make sense why I have all this heavy wood in the back of the truck and how I'm gonna get it back to Arizona. But it is gorgeous. And uh, anyway, there it is. Okay, enough. We're gonna check out the dusty trunk. We're gonna skip hidden coast homes. Got the Tipsy Potter, the Deer Door Moose Boutique, Flying Cats gift shop, and the Harbor Bar before we go get dinner. All right, well, we had to stop by and see how Sharky is doing here in Ocean Shores, and we did get a few souvenirs. So a couple magnets and then a couple things for, again, more of that future project that includes using this live edge oak here. Uh, we're gonna uh, go get dinner now. Yeah. All right, it's been a while. Diana and I are gonna go check out Bennett's Fish Shack here. I know they got mango cart beer. They got really good fish and chips. All right, our orders have arrived here. It looks like Diana got a salad. She got a salad. What are those, chicken? No, these are clam strips. Clam strips? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I went with their breaded cod fish and chips. Home style. Picked right out of the sea here in Ocean Shores, perhaps. With, hey look, decorations. Decorations. <laughs> and uh, I don't do the tartar sauce or any of that stuff. I like barbecue sauce on my fish and chips. Because I'm weird and it's freaking delicious. <laughs> that is good. That's really good, man. Uh, this particular tree had been down for three years, this oak tree. So a little bit of rain is not gonna hurt it at all. It's not seasoned per se, because it was freshly milled to this depth, but the tree itself has been dead three years, so I'm okay with it. However, I just changed my mind, actually. Well, we, we're not done with this trip necessarily, and so, um, and I don't want to drive around with it in the back of the truck, hanging four feet out the back like that. So I am going to very temporarily drop it off at my buddy Andrew's place in Aberdeen. So I'm going to drop you back off at the RV. I'm going to jet down there. We're going to unload it. And then more on that later. We'll just ignore that for now, okay? But I did mention it. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for Andrew to get back from Olympia uh, while we're waiting for him here in Aberdeen. A quick stroll down memory lane for me. Those of you who've been on my channel for over a decade, remember, this is where it all started here, this particular spot. It is nothing glamorous by any means, but there's a lot of sentimental value as I started my nomad life parked right here in a 1979 Toyota Dolphin after the RV park kicked me out when I was going to Grays Harbor College. Elmo RV Park kicked me out because I put a tarp on the roof of my RV because it was leaking in the pouring rain. And they said, we don't allow tarps. And I said, what am I supposed to do? I'm in college. I already paid for three months in advance. They said, oh, we're giving you all your money back. You can't stay here with a tarp. So I pulled the tarp off the roof. I said, fine, I'll just use buckets in here and let it get wet in my RV. Well, that only lasted three days before I gave up on that. Rode out here because right on the other side of that bridge over there is where I was going to college to get my Associate of Arts degree. So I parked my Toyota Dolphin right here with a tarp over it, and my Ford Explorer parked right here where this car's at, right here. And Jax, my cat, grew up basically right there. I didn't stay here every single night. I had six or seven different spots that I would park overnight and go through each week. But the sound of the vehicles going over that grate over there, that bridge right there, and looking at all the lights on inside that hotel over there, eating blackberries right here off the Wishka River, the muddy banks of the Wishka River. Yeah, the same muddy Wishka River that Kurt Cobain from Nirvana wrote a song about right there. <laughs> uh, 
and the famous Breakwater Foods building that, um, well, here's the thing. I, the one thing certain in life is that things are going to change. And oftentimes I come back to places that I have a lot of sentimental memory at and it's incredible what changes are made as far as signage. And I gotta think that this one is a little personal. Again, here's where I'm at. Here's where those of you know, my RV has spent so much time parked here for the never over the, the maximum. You're allowed 72 hours, if not posted, 72 hours to park your vehicle anywhere in Aberdeen. However, this particular exact spot, we now have a custom sign. And I pulled up and I just kind of stared at it, two hour parking now. So for whatever reason, this crummy spot in Aberdeen, I mean, absolutely crummy. Maybe other people used it after me. I'm not sure, I haven't been here. I don't know what happened. But this terrible, horrible memory spot that I keep coming back to, there, no more, no more. Two hours max, okay? So, um, yeah, I don't have a lot of good memories here. But man, things are looking up. Anyway, I will not be here more than two hours. I'll wait for Andrew to give me the call and then we'll head over there and load this stuff and head back to see Diana back in Ocean Shores. But um, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I moved on from Aberdeen. I'm kind of glad things worked the way they did. Sitting here in some of the worst times of my life, I don't have a whole lot of good memories from Aberdeen. But this is where it all started for me and I think that's important to recognize where I've come. Now I travel all around the country. I have property in Arizona. You know, and, and uh, I'm moving on to the next chapter of my life, which is starting in the back of the truck. What do you guys think I'm up to? Le leave, a, leave a comment in the video description below. What's going on? What am I so incredibly excited about? The future of this channel. <laughs> what does wood slabs have to do with anything? And hang tight, I'm gonna clarify. I th we were looking at oak slabs, but I wanna make sure that those are actually oak wood. Hang on, I gotta cut back in. I was looking at a lot of different slabs of wood there. I just talked to Ivan over there and it's not oak. It is Northwest Redwood. Redwood as in the tallest trees in this country uh, down in the California coast. Um, so it's not oak, Eric, it's Redwood, which actually I think is pretty cool. What do you guys think? They're, they're rainy and wet right now, but those of you wood specialists here in the Pacific Northwest, I should have just asked him, are we absolutely sure that this is all oak? Or was I looking at some different stuff? What do you guys think? Any thoughts, any ideas? Gotta get closer, I guess. Ooh, it's a naughty piece of wood. Okay, so we'll head over and see Andrew here in a little bit. All right, over here at Andrew's in Aberdeen. It's getting dark, but we just got the wood planks moved underneath his awning, well, underneath his rain gutters, at least. So I'm gonna cover them up real quick, and uh, I think a few of you have figured out what's going on. Um, <laughs> so two with live edge and a, and a straight edge, and then these two in the front are gonna be used only for their live edge part. And uh, there's, there's gonna be some work involved, but um, I got some really neat Northwest oak wood for a future project. And uh, we're just gonna walk away. Just gonna walk away from that right now. Cause I gotta head on back to Ocean Shores, meet up with Diana, come up with a game plan here. Okay, so it does still rain in the Pacific Northwest. We knew this was gonna happen and we figured eventually it was gonna get bad enough that it would probably drive us south. However, it's not just the new kittens that we got that are going on right now. There's a couple other things going on, again, behind the scenes that I feel like I can't say anything about yet because I'm still, still putting this all together in the background and things are tricky on my end. So uh, everything's fine, it's just you should know and you can reference this later when we come back to it and you'll understand all the stuff going on behind the scenes. So in the meantime, it looks like we're already in the rainforest, but we're gonna head to the hoe 
National Rainforest just south of Forks, Washington in my next video and try to camp in the rainforest because I just love rain now. <laughs> it is actually kind of nice to get a little bit of a break from the heat and the sun this summer. It was intense. And then the massive flooding in Arizona that drove me out of the state of Arizona, record breaking rainfall and flooding. So, you know, I'll take a little bit of drizzle here at home in Washington, okay? So y'all be well, we're gonna pack, start packing up here and go do some boondocking to come. You guys have a good one, bye-bye.